the knowledge that the reality of consensus is only a, a, a very small segment of the total range of what we could feel as real. Um, if we could learn to code reality or stimuli the way a shaman does, perhaps we could elongate our range of what we call real. another cause of fear. Time. Time is a movement, a series of movements. And the time, I'm, which is tomorrow, I might lose my job. I might lose, become blind. I might all the rest of it, tomorrow. So, time is a factor of fear. We live on this earth together, it's our earth. Not the American earth, or the Russian earth or the Hindu, or the Buddhist, or the Islamic world. It's our earth, but we have divided. Where there is division, racial, economic, religious divisions, there must be conflict. There must be wars. And these wars have been going on millions of years. Both of us are observing thinking about the same problem, looking at the same mountain, the same trees, the blue sky. And so we are together. Honestly, together, to observe these problems, and to find out for ourselves to discard all that completely and observe for ourselves why we human beings have become so deplorably unhealthy psychologically. Most of us are so easily accepting. It is necessary to discover what is true. There must be doubt. So, please don't accept a thing what the speaker is saying, but try to find out for yourself by carefully listening if you are interested. Please listen, doubt, question, and ask. You are doubting that which you have created yourself. You are doubting your own ideas, your own conclusions your own experiences, your beliefs, your faiths,
you are doubting so that you find out for yourself what is true.